a boy inadvertently breaks three important rules concerning his new pet and unleashes a horde of malevolently mischievous monsters on a small town. Boys, girls, etc.? This week, say hello to my little film, Gremlins. Okay. Do you want to play us? Okay. No. Say hello to my little film. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Say Hello to My Little Film. This is the podcast where we watch the movies that you need to see. I'm Ariel, and I'm joined by my co-host Ryan. Hello! And welcome! Welcome to the podcast! If you're still here, then we appreciate you. Yes. (laughs) So, what did we watch this week, Ariel? Let's get right into it. This week, we decided to watch Gremlins. Holy shit. What? I just realized I don't have my notes on me. Oh no! Do you need wait? You they're on your phone, right? They're on my do you phone. Know where, do you know where it is? Yes. Okay. Do you think you can stall? You know what? I'll keep them entertained right, while you run rest. out. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm just gonna narrate what he's okay. doing. So now he's picking himself up and he's trotting like like a pony to the door. <laughs> out the door he goes, <laughs> and he always chastises me for being unprepared, just so that all the people know about that. I wonder if he even knows where his phone is. That's the real question. It is yet to be determined. I hear the footsteps creaking and cracking around this old house. Oh, we didn't tell you guys, but you might have seen on our Instagram post that we are in the middle of buying a house and it's very stressful slash exciting. So that is kind of one of the reasons why we decided to go to every other week and our baby's teething. Let's see what else is new. Oh, he's back. (laughs) Right when I ran out of things to talk about. Excellent. (laughs) How'd you, how'd you do? I think it was sub B minus. <clears throat> All right. It's not too bad. So All we right. got your notes. Yes. What's funny is we decided to watch Gremlins right after we watched The Goonies. Yeah. They're weirdly related. We noticed a lot of similarities. <laughs> Spielberg and... Uh, Chris Columbus. Chris Columbus. Yes. Which is the writer? Uh, either writer or producer. I never, I never catch what his title is. Because yeah. this is... He does both. He's also a director. He directed the first involved, two Harry Potters. Right, right. So just weird. And um, Corey Feldman. Yes. <laughs> just another layer to this onion. And he's not even really a main character. I mean, I guess he's kind of a main auxiliary character. I don't know enough about him. He doesn't seem like he has main character quality. You mean just him in general? I don't think he can carry a movie by himself. You mean like he tries to carry an album? Like a, yeah, like I don't know why he's famous. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe I don't my know how boy, kids get into acting unless their parents are actors. My boy uh, Mick is a way better actor. Mick. Yeah. Jagger. No, the uh, Cully Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> Cully Culkin. Yeah, Mick. As a whole last name. Mickey. Mickey Cully Culkin. Oh, little Mickey. Yeah, that's right. That's you know the song. Uh, oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Is that it's, about him? It's about Mickey. Mickey, M- Mickey, Cully Culkin. Wow. <laughs> I struggled to say that. It seems bit. like the time period doesn't really add up there. Uh, who are you <laughs> fucking Mythbusters? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> uh, All right, so I have my notes. So okay. let's crack into this fucking weird movie. All right, first, what did you think this movie was going to be like? I Or what did you know about it? I knew, obviously, like I've seen like the Gizmo. I knew his name was Gizmo. Mm-hmm. I knew it was cute. It like looks Basically like a Furby. a Furby. I thought it was gonna be way more like whimsical and fun. Oh my god, that's and hilarious! I had no idea it was a Christmas movie. Yeah. Um, which I have some interesting points in here about that, but um, well, that we'll see. Well, yeah, interesting <laughs> to me. Yeah, true. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, I just knew that like Gremlins, and I knew the rules. I also was aware of the rules. That's very like, so. You've notorious. heard people talk about them. Yeah, the like movie. you can't feed them after midnight. I mm-hmm. didn't know the bright lights thing. I knew you can't feed them after midnight, and I think I knew you couldn't get them wet. So I pretty much they're I kind of, I understood the synopsis. They're kind of like vampires, in a sense. They can yeah, like the kills sun them. kills them. I don't know. Like vampires can get wet, I guess. But yeah, they can. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> but I thought that was weird, and I wish that they used. I mean, they used the sun at the end, but I wish they used the sun more. 
Well, they use bright lights all the fucking time. Yeah. They're, but it, the bright lights is also like... It's, it, it's all over the place. Inconsistent because yeah. then they there's a point where they're all in the movie theater. Uh-huh. Sorry, that's a really bright light. You would think so. Like they're watching Snow White. Yeah, it's like it can't be a light bulb. It, it can't be... A camera flash. Right, but it can be a projector. But, but I guess like, it's not directly but Gizmo hitting them. is offended when they go into the bathroom. So that light is too bright. See, that... That's stupid. Yes. That sucks. Steven Spielberg, get your shit together. So, okay. Uh, first of all, my first question, when mm-hmm. this movie starts off, mm-hmm. uh, the first note I have in here is, the dad is doing the narration. Oh my God. I forgot about that. Like, I've it's, seen this movie, I, I don't know, 15 years ago. Right. And so I didn't remember all the details, only the things that really traumatized me. Right. And that part I totally forgot. What a weird way to make a movie. It's not the dad's movie. Why is he doing the intro? Also, I really thought that he should have been Dan Aykroyd. Sure. A hundred percent. He looks like he him. He basically is. Yeah. He's like the B version of Dan Aykroyd. Bobo Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I thought it was super weird that it was... Because I was like, okay. And he's like, eh, I gotta buy my son a Christmas present. Yeah. Let me tell you how it happened. And I guess it's like the week before Christmas. So wait, but he's talking about the past. Who? The dad in the beginning. Yes. It's a story. Like He's Princess telling the Bride. story. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He okay. <laughs> tells the whole movie. The whole movie is a story from him. That I guess... Because his son is the main character. So like th- this theory rides on the idea that his son told him every detail <laughs> yeah because his dad's not present for a lot <laughs> yeah, of the he's stuff. like at that convention and could never know that his mom blended up a gremlin the invention convention <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> i love like the inventor thing that doesn't exist anymore like you're there's no inventors I've, yeah you know and like that's such well, an no, old no, movie no. there's thing. inventors they're just well, like, like a it's modern... like apps and shit now. yeah that's... you don't get any bathroom buddies and Cool yeah, like there's yeah. no, sorry, I just hit the mic. I'm sorry. There's no like actual innovation. It's all just adaptation from previous yeah. innovation. Or it's all software now and it's not yes. cool. Yes. Um, then, so the dad is narrating and he's like, uh, he's going to buy his adult son a present for how for, uh, for uh, Christmas, for Halloween. <laughs> it seems like it Merry should be Halloween. for Halloween because of the gremlin aspect of right. it. Right. But, um, he goes into this... Why is he following this Chinese kid? So he's in Chinatown where all things mystical occur. Uh-huh. Because that's a thing. Right. I don't know, like... Seemingly that's in New York. But, I mean, this story is not set in New York. So it's a little confusing about, like, the locations throughout the movie are right. pretty confusing to me. Yeah. Especially when it has to do with but the But why dad. is he following this kid? Well, okay, so he kind of mentions that, like, he was looking for one of those shops, like an old... Like Chinaman's shop. I feel like he says something about that because he says that like, I don't know. It, it kind of made sense to me when we got down into the store. He was like, no wonder you were out in the street trying to get customers. Okay. I, to me, it was just completely like, he was like, this is it. And I was like, why are you following this kid in the first place? So because he said that once he got in the store, I'm guessing that the kid was like out there trying to get business. Like okay. trying to draw people in. I, all right, fine. But this it, kid, by the way, too, is so entitled. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's it's like he runs the business. Yeah, he became westernized. And then from his grandfather, that's not his dad. No way. That's Definitely grandfather. grandfather. Sure. By the way, his he has my exact aesthetic. The grandfather or the child? The Chinese man. Yeah, the child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to look like a Pokemon hunter. No, he... The... That's kind of racist, I think. Why? Because it's an Asian game, right? It's like Asian origins. Yeah, but... <laughs> But you, you're just saying he looked like Ash. Yeah, he had like okay. a little backpack and okay. like a cool hat. Blue shirt and a, and a red backpack. I'm not racist. <laughs> I swear. It's just funny that you chose to, to say Pokemon. That's what he looked like. That's what comes <laughs> to my mind. Okay. <laughs> Whose fault is that? <laughs> All right. So, but I'm saying the grandfather, he's like, he has like this like dark dungeony like basement he's just sitting there he has this cool long ass beard a fucked up like if i made a video game character it would look like granddad it's impractical ryan because he's smoking that long in pipe. The, our capitalist society uh-huh. you can't have a basement store where your grandson gets your business 
No, totally. I mean, and what is he selling? Like the the <laughs> inventor goes down there and looks. He walks for five seconds, and then he's like, "You got a really cool shop here, or something." It like was that. a cool shop. What did you see? I, just I saw, saw like, nothing but smoke and smoke <laughs> and like Whoa. like dead plants. Yeah, it rad. Was cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> but so he goes down there and um, he tries to sell his bathroom buddy. I thought he was looking for a present. Yeah, but then he goes down there to pitch a... Like a sales pitch. Sale, yeah. yeah. The sales, like the the invention part of this movie was like way in the for, like way more in the forefront than it should be. That's like, I guess, his dad's whole life. That was the running gag. And I because now it makes more sense than I think about it because it's the dad story. So, of course, every bit of the invention... He's it, like, yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, and then she tried to use my coffee maker, which made diarrhea. <laughs> which is a thing that happened in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So the bathroom buddy, by the way, is a pretty good idea. No, it's so ugly. It needs to be streamlined. It okay, needs but to it be has like a so many knife. things. I'm, t- I mean, it's, but it's it is just, just stupid enough that no one would use it. <laughs> right. It is essentially a bag. Yeah. Like yeah. just, it's so much more convenient to hold just a razor than to have a razor on this big pocket knife thing that also has your toothbrush and I guess your soap. And I mean, it has everything That's you That's true. Need. Just like a little bag so you can actually have Way full easier. control. Because if you're brushing your teeth with that, you're holding the brick. Yeah. And just, you, and yes. it, it would be folding in on itself. You're totally right. He's like, he's not a good inventor because he thinks only halfway through what people are actually looking for. Right. But what's crazy is that he goes ahead and develops it and has his house full of all these things. Mm-hmm. And he has his little logo on it. So that makes me think that he has product in stores. Some success. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said he has, he said he could get dozens of them shipped to this guy. And then like when his said, mom doesn't work. The main character's mom. So this inventor's wife, uh-huh. she doesn't have a job. Okay. And then the son does. So, yeah, but like, bank. which is funny too, because he's like a teenager, right? I definitely thought he was no, going to, he seemed way older to me. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. I thought he was like a teenager, and so I was expecting him to have like a car wash job. Well, his age is very ambiguous. Fluid. <laughs> yeah, and I'll kind of touch on that a little bit too, because what like he's too he's definitely too old for his dad to be buying him a little pet. Pet. Absolutely. Right. Yes. He already has this dog. I stopped getting who's about presents. To get hung yes. by a woman. I stopped in the getting town. presents when I was like seventeen years old. Yeah. And even then it was just like I getting presents gift when I, cards. I've never gotten a present from my dad. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure. Kidding. Yeah. He was like, me and your mom picked this out. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, no, just your mom yeah, did. He just like signed the <laughs> card last minute. So, but, uh, so this guy, this guy might be a little racist. Which, the when, inventor? Or yeah, the because when he's pitching the, the bathroom buddy, he goes, oh, say, you, yeah. uh, say you got dragon breath. And it, and it, it does goes, like a boom. It does a gong noise. And then it looked, and like there's a statue of a dragon. Yeah. Okay, Steven Spielberg, I see what you're doing I know. here. Trying to call attention our oh, society's issues. <laughs> right. Oh my god, about the breath. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. I love my Asian brothers and sisters. My brothers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's so, like, don't try to be funny, and then I go and do that. I don't say don't try to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's my mantra to myself. To yourself? Yeah. You look in the mirror. Some people look in the mirror and they say, okay, be cool. You look in the mirror and say, just stop. <laughs> yeah, don't try to be funny. It always bites me in the ass. So, All right, so he's looking around the shop and he sees, he comes across a singing animal. That doesn't exist, right? So this is, I mean, this is an animal he's never seen before. No one is ever phased by the fact that it's a new fucking species of mammal. I would be flipping out. That I'd be like, sings. what is this? Yeah, it's singing. And whenever in the movie, throughout the movie, whenever either a mogwai or a gremlin says English, no one is phased by this. Yeah, and the, no one's phased, but they're like, if, imagine if I brought a cat home, mm-hmm. okay? And, and the it cat, goes, first bright of all, light, bright light. Yeah, it was like going, <laughs> bright light. And then also I was like, here's your cat. Uh, don't get it wet and don't feed it past midnight. <laughs> no questions. There were no questions. Yeah, and don't no let it, oh, questions. and if it goes out into sunlight, it will die. Yeah. No, everyone's like, okay. Also, I think that like, yes, he did say that the feeding after midnight was the most important. And he said that they'll die in the sunlight. But they just said don't get them wet. They didn't say why. And I feel like that is also so important. It's a big deal. Like, if they told suddenly him, suddenly you then will they have seven mogwai. It. Yeah. Then they oh, and the second generation will be terrible. Um. So the guy says the the 
the shopkeeper mm-hmm. says he's not for sale. Well, he was under a blanket. Okay. <laughs> he's like, he says it's not for sale. He's for me to keep as my prison. Like, what are you doing with him in your store if it's he's not unclear. for sale? It's unclear because he says. Why doesn't he murder it? He says it's too great a responsibility. And then at the what end of the movie, does it do? at the end of the movie, when the son, the main character is showing signs of responsibility, he's like, you might be ready for him one day. One day. As okay. if like Mogwai are going to help humans like save the world or some weird shit. Yeah. I was like, what purpose does it <laughs> yeah. serve? Especially when you just keep it in a cage with a blanket over it in the back of this underground store that no one ever comes in and you're pumping fucking opium smoke through yeah. the store the entire day. Yeah. Like it's, you're just keeping this thing as a prisoner. Why not sell it? And also, like, or kill it. So he has this big reverence for the Mogwai, but the grandson does the fuck not, because he's just like, hold on, and then he goes and gets him for the inventor, even though the grandfather was like, it's not for sale. Yeah, he's just like, mm, I'll meet you upstairs. <laughs> he's like, I got my hustle going on. It's fine. On. Oh, by the way, here's three rules. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, how much do you think he paid for it? Two hundred dollars, because that's what he offered. Remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I just, I for maybe I missed that part, but he just handed him like a wad of. Dollar bills. And I was like, huh, Which two hundred dollars still seems cheap, even for eighties money, for that animal, like yeah. an animal that's been undiscovered and yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. exist. Totally. Like, <laughs> yeah, that sings. Yeah, fa- and speaks English. Think how much people pay for parrots or something, or children. And they suck. They're not even like cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or children. Yeah. <laughs> Truth. No, that's true. Like parrots, I think like uh, the ones that can talk with you and things, I think they're like $2,400. Yeah, they're crazy expensive. <laughs> so this cuter version, like because birds suck. Yeah, and smell. Yeah, but this thing is like... A Furby. And can, it'll watch TV with you and shit. Like Just chilling. Yeah. And like harmonize with you as you play on your keyboard. So then the kid the, the kid says... All Do right. you, did you catch his name? No. Okay. Well, or I, the, I thought you were talking about the main character for a second. No, no, no. The, um, I don't, the, I don't the have, little Chinese kid is okay. what I'm talking about. I don't have any of their names. Well, no, me either. <laughs> but uh, the little Chinese kid, this is when he tells the, the dad, and who does not react, he said, Here, listen, mister, the rules are... Typical 80s kid. Don't get them in the sun, don't get them wet, and don't feed them after midnight. Yeah. And, and he's like, sure, kid, whatever. Yeah, he's like, I'll take my fucking money. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. He's like, oh, interesting, okay. Hey, son, I got you a magwa. The, the, the son... Let's say at the same time, how old do you think the son is? Okay. okay. Well, I thought it was... Count of three. Okay. One, two, three. 26. <laughs> I thought he was out of high school, but still a teenager. I thought he was out of college and was like getting his life... He's he's an adult. He's a grown man. Yeah, but I mean, he kind of hangs out with Corey Feldman. Why? What's up with that? I don't know. It's you that's also the age discrepancy weird at least there because so yeah, he's like in middle school. Corey Feldman is. Yeah, I I can understand I that one. And so then, like, he has this job question mark as a Christmas tree um, mascot. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was super weird too. <laughs> he comes into uh, the main character's home and is like, "Hey, I got a Christmas tree for you," and it's just his costume, I think. Yeah. Which is funny, but it implies that there's a relationship there. Like, they're family friends or something? I guess. It's not explained, just like Goonies. There's no explanation. Yeah, it could. he could have been, like, the little brother because he, like... No, uh, I don't I don't know. It didn't seem like it was a little brother to me. I, don't, I, I was confused by their relationship. What it should have been deeply. was the love interest's little brother. Yeah. That would have made way That would have been way better. <laughs> but it and wasn't. it could be. It could be. It There's could still be no better. explanations. <laughs> right. So, um... That's when, like, you start to realize, oh, this is a Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. And you see Christmas lights, and it's like, it's Christmas movie, I mean, kind of in the sense that Die Hard is. Like, it's Christmas time, yeah. but it's not about Christmas. No, but they, they're they playing Christmas songs yes. throughout it yes. and all of that stuff. It's Makes very you, It puts you in the mood. Yeah. For Christmas cookies. Um. So, uh, that's when the... Um, oh, no, hold on. I have a question, actually. Mm-hmm. For the don't feed them after midnight. Mm-hmm. When do you feed them again then? I guess daytime? So when the sun comes up? I mean... Fully? Is it at the crack of dawn? Maybe they sleep while the sun is out because they can't go out in the sun. So why would they stay awake? 
Okay. I don't know. That's never discussed. That's annoying, right? That has bothered me before. Maybe the first time I watched this when I was like a kid. Mm -hmm. I think I probably have thought of that. And then I just didn't think of it this time because I was like, this movie sucks. Whatever. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, so you think this movie sucks? Well, you'll see. Well, I think I just heard. (laughs) Well, don't be deceived. The gremlin's out of the bag. Um. So then his car won't start. And he's oh, I had a question work. about that. Uh-huh. His car was completely engulfed in ice. Yeah. Is that how people drive around in no. places where there's ice? No. Because he had the front windshield was like wiped off. Uh-huh. But you can't see how the rear view oh, yeah. or I the sides. Hold on. I didn't even notice he had the front windshield. Yeah. He had them like wiped. Yeah. I noticed he didn't have the back or the nope. sides. Nope. Yeah. And he was about to just get in and drive off. No. You, ha- you Sorry. need to get all that shit off. It seems illegal. Well, it's <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah. It's a good way to get into a fucking accident. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, I thought I noticed that too. I was like, guy. And then so get the, your shit together. Plus, I liked too because in that moment he was like, oh shit, I'm late for work. And then he just his car wouldn't start, so he just walked and he just makes it on time. Yeah, that's he makes it on time, but he also that's when oh, this is when you get introduced to that guy. I don't know what his name is. The boss. No, 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 no. Oh. The like drunk. Oh, guy. um, shit. I felt it's not Feldman. It's like Futterman. Maybe I don't know. it's something I, I like didn't that. Catch it. It's something like that. But he and he walks up and he's like, oh, "Goddamn foreign cars!" Because mm-hmm, he has a shit. Volkswagen. Yeah, and I was. Kind, that's when I was started to be like, "What is the message of this movie?" Like, oh, what I is still the, don't know. What is the theme? Because there's definitely a theme of like consumerism. You mean like the gremlins, how they consume? I don't know what the message of the movie is, but because it's Christmas time, it's about like, like, uh, like materialism. I think that Steven there's so much junk is in trying the movie. to say, don't give your kids pets for Christmas. I think he's trying to say, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Like, don't stay up past midnight. Don't stay what up are you doing? Don't eat at, after midnight. Don't eat a fucking bologna sandwich at two in the morning. What are it's you doing? It's weird because it is. Weird. It's it, it, there's this like weird nationalist kind of. Well, point I just think that's it. what the eighties were like. The no, Cold I get War, it. Yeah. I get it. But it was like it's it is about junk too because the dad is an inventor who makes mm-hmm. all this junk. shit stuff you don't need. Junk. Like he has a, an orange juicer. And the whole thing being Christmas themed. Throughout the whole Presence. movie, there's just all kinds of shit yeah. everywhere. They're yeah. they're fighting with shit. They're yes. breaking shit. They're tearing shit apart. Everything's shitty. Yeah. So it's very claustrophobic. Also, this movie when yes. the gremlins pop out, like I started to get anxiety. Like I was like, there's like trash well, his house everywhere. And is it's just like that. Yeah, I, and it could be the layout because you know these homes that are older are built all closed in and boxy like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. part of it. Yeah. But then also like. They have this typical 80s home of just clutter. Right. And it, it's probably a lot to do with the fact that his dad's an inventor. But it's very claustrophobic. So I agree. I felt that way too. I just thought that was like, what is this movie trying to say? I really just think that the movie is just trying to say, be responsible for your pets. There's <laughs> really no ridiculous... other message. I mean, I see what you're saying, but I just it's not clear enough for Here's me to... Here's the linchpin to me, though. Because the guy says at the end... He says, spoiler alert, he says, when you are not ready yet for how, uh, uh, does he say Americans or humans? I think he's talking about humans. He says either humans or Americans treat the Mogwai like they treat, uh, like the world or something. Yeah, natural resources. Your natural resources or something. And you're not He might have been been talking about white people. I think he said Americans. I think he just said you people, but I think he was talking about white people. Did he say you people? Hold on. I think I might have written it down. Hopefully you did. All I remember is you people. He says you do with Mogwai what you do with all of nature's gifts. Yeah. And that's a white people thing. Probably. Because we're so colonial. We're the materialization well, thing. Well, we're the materialistic world f- for sure. Right? We have all we the We are junk. the West. Yeah. We're like, we have the lifestyle where we can have more than just survival. We have all the stuff. junk. Yeah. And like all, see what I'm saying? Like there's, and there's like the weird nationalist stance of like American productivity and how we're like loyal to, at least that one drunken idiot is loyal to American products. It seems he's, like he's, there's a lot of themes that are around some sort of consumerism concept. Okay. But concept. What do you, where do you think Steven Spielberg, like, where, where is he on the spectrum? Is he saying that like... That's what I don't know. Like what? Yeah. What is he saying? Is he saying, um, yes, buy American and don't buy all this extra crap? Or is he saying, 
that all white people are destructive on the earth or something. Well, it doesn't seem like he, because why would he make the doofus drunk character who thinks well, gremlins kind of, live in in car engines? He's kind of a sweetheart, that guy, though. He's kind of nice. He's a nice idiot who's drunk. He's a nice alcoholic idiot who's alone on Christmas. Well, he has a wife. Because remember he? when oh, the plow yeah. goes through his house. Yeah, you're right. He does have a wife. And she's a fucking idiot. Oh, honey, okay. <laughs> you be careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good impression. I don't know. I just it's, maybe we can figure it out as we get. Maybe further, further That's deeper than I. You see what I'm I, saying, though? Yeah. It, there, it's like there's a lot of themes that touch, but they never really punch through what the message really is trying to get across. But yeah. Maybe I'm just reading into it. Also. I mean, it's a deep, you know, c- conclusion to draw. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, so. So then, are we at the point where? He shows up at his bank job. This is before yes. dad comes home. And he h- takes his dog and he hides it under what his desk. What the hell? Desk. Why did he bring his dog to work? Why did he bring his dog? And like, He does bring... He brings his dog. In a bank job where you would smell and hear and have to take your dog out. It's a completely ridiculous. Yes. I don't understand that at all. No. Especially if his mom doesn't go to work, like she can let the dog out. So that's not why... He brings a dog. Yeah. Uh, it, you don't need a dog sit your dog. The thing that drives me crazy is like, it seems so routine. Yeah. Doesn't like he, he have like a place bed under yeah, there? He had a place for him and just kind of tied him up. And I think other people knew about it. The girl definitely did. Okay. So the he, boss didn't, I don't think. Yeah. The boss, by Oops, the way, was in, my ring. <laughs> the boss, by the way, was an, is an interesting uh, character. He's an actor that I, so are, are you lot. talking about the manager, the young guy, or the boss, the old man? The guy who meets him at the bar later. Okay, like, the younger guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actor I has a small part him. for being like such a recognizable actor for that yeah. time period. I just thought that was uh, interesting. I, don't, I still don't know who he is. I also feel like he always kind of plays that character. Yeah. Well, he seemed more of a douche in this. He usually is like a nice guy. Oh, maybe I'm mixing up with someone else then. <laughs> well, um... Well, okay, so... Along the same lines as the dog, this is kind of where we're introduced to the issue of the dog because Mrs. Deagle uh, comes Mrs. into Deagle. play. <laughs> this The intro of this bitch is her walking down the sidewalk mm-hmm. with holding a decapitated snowman's head. Yes. And she's marching down the street. Clearly pissed. Yeah. Uh, it's broken. So it's not, you know, it looks like it's, it's like a broken lawn ornament. ornament. And also... We like she gets stopped by a starving family. Oh yeah, who is begging her for a couple <laughs> extra weeks for them to pay the rent or whatever? So does she own the bank? No, I don't think so because when it showed her office, I think it was real estate, so it was probably like a rent situation. Okay, they couldn't pay rent. That family. oh, yeah. okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you. So gotcha. like they were saying, we just, I just got a new job. My husband just got a new job. Like we just need a couple of weeks or a week or whatever, yeah, to be able to get the money to you. And she is like, I, I don't care. Like yeah. when bah they walk humbug, off, essentially, basically. And when they walk off, the kids are like, I'm hungry, and she's like, I know, me too. I'm like, that is so Brutal. dark. Especially- and they're dressed the same. Oh, I didn't notice that. The kids the are kids dressed are? exactly it's a boy the and a same. Girl. I know. They Ooh. both have like blue jackets, red hats, red scarfs. They, it was like exactly the same outfit. Do you get that at the poor store? I don't know. Maybe they <laughs> had the, like a buy one, get one free special. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> for their outfits. But anyway, she's mad because the dog, I guess, knocked the ornament over. Is the, Oh my God. Okay. I didn't yeah. even catch that. I, I, was, yeah. I took so many notes during this movie. The dog, I guess, um, like because it's a big lawn ornament decoration whatever yeah, yeah yeah so i guess he pushed it over i don't know this is like a little terrier so i really don't see whatever um and then so she's mad because it was expensive and um and so she's like threatening to kill the dog because that's a normal thing to do she's threatening to kill the dog slowly and painfully like she wants to fucking destroy this dog right because that's normal behavior yeah like when what you're does she a well-adjusted say? person later it shows her at home with a bunch of cats and I hate that because you can have cats and also like dogs. You don't have to be a person who hates one or the other. Like, I think if you are one or the other, both of you are stupid. Yeah. If you're a dog person who's like, fuck cats, I'm like, you're dumb. And but if dogs you're a cat are better person, than cats. 
I disagree. I, I think they have different things. I don't ever want to live my life without both. I want a dog and a cat always. If you had to pick one. I think I would pick a cat. <laughs> oh, okay. I would pick a cat because for my lifestyle, it's a You're lot easier. You're out of your mind. That's just the internet to... has convinced you of that. They're so independent and smart uh, and cuddly. Yeah. You think they our cat smell. is smart? Well, <laughs> our cat he is, not smart. is smarter than the average dog. It's not smarter than our dog. The average dog. Our dog is exceptionally smart. Oh, that sounds like you <laughs> like dogs more. <laughs> well, I have a soft spot for pit bulls. <laughs> yeah. And all damaged creatures. <laughs> well, back to this lady. What's her name? Deagle. 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 Which is a short term uh, for a desert eagle, which is a very high caliber pistol. Oh. I don't or, know if that was intentional or not. Or it's just the mispronunciation of dickle. Dickle? Like, like dick hole? Like, oh, yeah, like that. I was going to say, like, just she's a dick. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Um, but she says, when you're, t- when she, like you said, when she was talking to the uh, poor family, she says, uh, I, 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 I'm just like the bank and I have one purpose and that is to make money. Yeah. Right? Yes. Then she goes immediately after that to the teller, who is our main character, mm-hmm. and says, I don't want your money. Oh yeah, because he offers to pay for the ornament. Yeah, because she's filthy rich. What? Uh, so she she's weird not writing for that. True, but she's not mad at him and the dog because no, she's losing that. money. She's mad because she wants revenge. Or because whatever. she wants to kill an animal. Right. Really bad. She wants to go ahead and create torture for an innocent being. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, and she wants to kill the dog by throwing it in a running dryer. Oh my fucking god. And the guy behind her in line says, that'll do it. Yeah, it's weird. Like, maybe this is a time period where, like, casual animal abuse is kind of joked about and thrown around. It's just like, oh, yeah, you could kill a dog by throwing it in a dryer. You yeah, could give it a I lethal injection. They yeah, didn't that'll respect do it. their pets, which you can kind of see generally, generationally, actually. I think you can see it in this movie, how they treated the actor dog, the dog actor. Because there's a point which never gets clarified, <laughs> clarified as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there's a point where he's in his house and he goes outside because he hears like a ruckus. Mm-hmm. And his dog is hung by Christmas lights. Now, not hung only by the neck. No, no. Like he's alive. No. But <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the gremlins did that. Oh my God. Ryan, you wait, missed so much. Wait, the gremlins were hatched by that point? Um, Are you sure? No, no, no. They weren't gremlins yet. They were still mogwai. But they were. it was like to show that they were mischievous. Because remember, he kept saying they were different. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was the Mogwai second generation. Okay. I thought it was the lady. <laughs> yeah, because that's what they assumed because they were like, well, the Mogwai couldn't do this. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense to me. That was such a big, like, I was like, what the fuck? This lady yeah. is tr- trying like, to kill that their dog? That would have been like demonic to do that's, that. I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? But that makes way more sense. Okay. Because, like I said, I was taking a lot of notes. But what I was saying earlier is that I do think that old people at, in general now, so don't like comment on our things and say my grandparents love their dog that's not what i'm talking about but i yeah, think yeah, yeah. generally they like they're like they say things like i keep saying like sorry they say things like oh like you just put them outside like a dog or treat them like a dog and they say things like that because they do think of their pets as less but like this generation i feel as though they value their pets so much more than past generations so it's kind of interesting to see it play out in this movie I know that's not on target. For it's just saying like something I noticed. Okay. I mean, do you agree? I think people might be a little excessive with how they care for their pets. Now. Yes, they call them fur babies and bullshit like that. Yeah, that's insane. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> but Sorry, uh, no offense or offense. Yeah, whatever. No, <laughs> no offense from Ariel. All offense from me. I mean, I'm we love our pets to death, but you know, weird uh, rant. Ariel. Well, and but, I don't even know if it was a rant. It's just kind of something that this movie reminded me of. And, the, and then I thought of, oh, that's a real thing, actually. So I think it's just kind of because it's from the 80s kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> well, um, let's go get some buckets of red paint and get ready to go throw it on some people. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, bye. Film. And we're back. Okay. So just Ariel didn't understand the red paint reference. That was obviously for (laughs) PETA, which I thought was super clear. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was a little cloudy. 
Um, so now we are at uh, the part where he is at the bar with his, you say, young boss. Well, he said he was 23 in it. He said, by the time I'm 25, <laughs> that I'm going to... That guy's gonna... not 23. So, okay, this is also why I thought the main character was younger, is because it's set up as though this guy is older yeah. than him. Ba- by a little by bit, By a little right? bit. Right? Yeah. So I was thinking maybe 18, 19. I guess by movie standards, but I couldn't get over how the dude looked. Like, what older. do you mean? Like his unibrow? <laughs> I don't know. He just has like a man jaw or something. Like <laughs> maybe he matured early. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I was you like, know this what dude it is way is? too fucking old to be like. Look, he's cute, isn't he? Come here, Corey Feldman. Look at this cute <laughs> little pet I have. My daddy just bought it for me. Like he was way too old for that. You know what it probably is? Is that the actor is thirty? Yeah. No, that's exactly what it <laughs> yeah. was. And it was it was really fucking me up. We'll just make him 18. It's fine. But his boss said something that uh, I wanted to pick your brain about. He said, you got to change with the world. You got to be tough. And I, that immediately rubbed me the wrong way because my understanding of being tough would be the exact opposite of changing with the world. You mean being like holding your ground and being yeah. a tough man in a storm kind of thing. Right? Well, what were they Staying talking firm. about? He was saying, he was like, uh, listen, I'm 23 and I'm already this the thing vice in president. the bank. Yeah. And I'll, ha- I'll be 25 and have this guy's job. The world's changing and you got to be tough. Yeah, but what was he talking about doing? I guess the implication is that the the main character uh, it wants to be an artist or something. Because he's like drawing uh, the, the oh. dog lady. I couldn't really understand what his point was. He's just like, hey, I'm a douche with money. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And it was to show that the kid is like, oh, I want sensitive. to be different. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be like, I a, like comic books. another thread or theme of like, I don't want to be part of the, this capitalist I don't work for a bank consumerist forever. bullshit. Yeah. Right? Still relevant. I mean, that's the same kind of issue. Still relevant. <laughs> is that a song? <laughs> no. That's One of the major hits. <laughs> Still relevant. <laughs> Um, all right, so then let's see. I guess the next part of the movie is that the dad comes home with the Mogwai, right? No, no, that's already happened. No, when he's at the bar, he doesn't have one yet. Oh, oh, no, no, no. The next, you're right. The next scene is the where you see that the kid is trying to crack an egg with that oh my fucking God. egg cracker. Then, yes. then you start to go, oh, the dad has inventions all over yes. the place. So the main character, let's give him a name. I can't think of his name, but like... Dudley. Cannot be Dudley. <laughs> he looks like an Andy, though. Andy. Okay. Let's go. Let's call him Andy! <laughs> you goody! <laughs> you goody! Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> That's the best. Oh my Fuck. God. All right. Fun fact, too. This movie came out one year before the Goonies did. So they were just like yeah. pumping these movies out. Yeah, big time for yeah. this, uh, for Spielberg and uh, Columbus. Chris Columbo. Chris okay. Columbus. So in the meantime, we're seeing so much exposition with uh, this main character, uh, quote, Andy, because we're showing, it's showing how he, he's not really into his job. It's kind of showing his relationship with that girl. He kind of seems to like her, but they're more friends. And then he doesn't like his boss. And then there was someone who made the comment of, you're, you basically support your whole family. So yeah, you yeah, kind of yeah, get a yeah. glimpse of his family life in that way, too. Yeah, so he's making decent money. And if Man, he's younger teller, than 23, yeah. then goddamn, cut yeah. him a fucking break. I mean, if you're a bank teller and you're under 23, you are doing good. Like, you'll be branch manager in a few years. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Hold it, on to that job. This dude is doing the best he can. He seems to have a positive outlook. He likes Christmas. He has a girl <laughs> that he's interested in. Yeah. He's got a dog. He's got a car that's, you know, a little piece of junk, but he's taking care of his whole family. And his best friend is a middle school kid. Seems great. <laughs> Seems like the perfect recipe actually. for an 80s movie. Super weird. He, um, then, yeah, so you're right. That's when his dad shows up. Mm-hmm. And he sees the this uncatalogued species. A brand new species. Brand new fucking species that's, like, looking around. They're and basically like, scientists. He basically says, like, I am Gizmo. He like says what he is. And I was like, it, the guy goes, it's neat, dad. It's really neat, dad. I was like, am I on fucking glue? <laughs> <laughs> 
Am I glued to the wall right now? Am I standing on glue right now? What the fuck? This dude is not reacting properly. <laughs> Did I properly. have glue earlier? Wait a second. <laughs> um, and so does the the um. That's all uh, uh Corey Feldman's character's yeah, reaction like, oh, is. He's neat. like, no. He even takes it further, and he's like looking at his coloring book or whatever. I think it's a like, comic book. Comic book, and he's like, oh, you know, it's neat. No, no it, it really is. is. It actually do think no, it's, it's cool. Super duper neat, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, it's so cool, bro. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's when we get introduced to Gizmo, and he's super cute, and he hates bright lights, and I that's just wish that it wasn't. So when did Furbies come out? Uh, way after this. Okay. Like early 2000s, late 90s. Okay. Uh, I was never allowed to have one, so. I oh, never... I had one. You didn't have one. <laughs> no. So overrated really i wanted one so bad the only reason i like the the only reason people still talk about furbies i think is because somehow and it was the best marketing strategy i think it was the company that made made furbies put this like little rumor out because there was a weird like myth that (laughs) if you like fed your Furby like too many times and then locked it in a dark room for like five days. It would come alive. Then it would start to like go <laughs> or there was all kinds of like No way. Yeah, no, it was obviously horseshit. Like yeah. or you could get your Furby to sing some demonic song or to swear. That There's is so, so many I kind of remember hearing the rumors you about remember? the swearing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's all kinds of like That is fucking funny. Yeah. If you like abused it, it would like Oh my Cry. God. It was all kind of, to make it seem like they were alive in some weird way. Ooh. That's the only reason Furbies existed. And it, it, it's so stupid because they had like six things they said. Me sleep yeah. again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you fed them by pushing their tongue. <laughs> they have more sophisticated baby dolls that actually poop. Yeah, that them. poop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, what I was saying is I wish that he didn't look so fucking fake. He yeah. looks so animatronic. Yeah, especially when they do like the close-ups of him and stuff. Why couldn't they have just gotten like a trained fox and just put different ears on him or something? That would have been better to me. But he wouldn't have been able to talk, I guess. But you can dub that over. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Instead of the weird animatronic thing, I wish they got a real animal to do it. To be the a character. A trained fox. Yeah. To be a gremlin? Well, not the gremlin part, but the mogwai part. The furry one. You know, the cute one. What? That's you think crazy. that's a good idea? Yeah, there are trained foxes. People have them as it pets. Would look, it would be a fox. I know, that's why I said to put ears on it. You can't ears. put ears on a fox. <laughs> and then it wouldn't be able to do... How, how's the fox going to like do everything that the mogwai do? It's trained. You tell it what to do. It walks on all fours. Like The mogwai have to they be... They can make this animal look however they want. Ariel, you are insane. That is a <laughs> terrible idea. All I'm saying is that that character of gizmo looks so stupid it takes me out of it i'm like that's a toy it doesn't look that bad it looks like a toy it does look like a toy i don't ever for one second believe that it's an animal it does look like a toy and it blinks like off kilter like just one at a time (laughs) it does the (laughs) eyelids are like (laughs) totally that bugged me too that bugged me a lot but it looked like a toy but i think that's also by the studio design like hey you know what we can fucking sell oh totally you know what i mean i wonder if that was a big toy back then I Gizmos. wonder. I've never, I've never seen a, fu- a fucking... Uh, Opportunity missed. Right? Maybe this movie wasn't that big. I wish I had looked up like how well it did. Well, I've heard about this movie forever. Okay. Would you think of it as like a cult classic? Yes. That's okay. how That's how I did think of it. Okay. You don't anymore? Well, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll All get right. to it. So um, that's when we're introduced. Like the Christmas tree kid turns around and me and Ryan go... <gasps> And look at each other because it's Corey Feldman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when we get introduced to him. And then the next thing I have written is that Gizmo gets what? What I missed. <laughs> um, well, not really much. That's the me- next well, basic. Well, no, no, Gizmo like hurts his face or something. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, he uh, is exposed to like bright light in some way, like a and camera he, or a flashlight or like a street light or something yeah, like he, that. Yeah, and then and he, so he jumps into a over. trash can. He, like, falls into a trash can. <laughs> yeah. Hurts his head. So then um, Andy takes him and is like, I'm going to go. Ender. <laughs> you sound Ender. Like, you sound like uh, Morgan Freeman. And then. Uh, no, I can't do it. Okay. No, I can't try. do an impression. No. Okay. <laughs> What's the movie where he. Happy Feet. And nope. Ender. And... March of the Penguins. And Ender crawled through 10 miles of shit. What? <laughs> 
That's a movie that we got to do. I don't think you've seen that. What movie is that? Shawshank, I think. Yes, I've seen Shawshank. Oh, so you know what I'm talking about. Andy Dufresne. Is that his... I didn't know that was his character's name. Yeah, it's always like... God, I don't think of any man having the name Andy. Like, just go by Andrew at that point, I think. Totes. Anyway. Sorry. Um. So he... Right. He goes headfirst into the trash can. He gets hurt. And so I'm thinking, okay, there's three rules. <laughs> He just did the bright light thing. <laughs> yep. And then and he takes him into the bathroom and I'm so worried he's going to put water know, on him that's to all I could think wipe too. his cut. But he didn't. He just wrapped his head. Mm -hmm. They went to bed. Good night. Uh, but then when Corey Feldman comes in and he shows him Gizmo, like some kind of wet gets on him. <laughs> uh, he like knocks over a cup or something. And it looks Way to so be messy painful yeah he's upset gizmo is which drives me crazy because after he realizes he so he he they get wet and then they like and then their back their, starts bubbling it boils yeah. and gizmo's like going ah, ah like looks in agony yes. and i was like well childbirth a. is is painful <laughs> sure and i was like oh my god this is fucking brutal because i didn't know what it was going to do when mm -hmm. i was watching this Oh, yeah. I forget that, like, you're coming to this with a blank slate. I did not know that if you got them wet. I, I that's, You didn't know what they did. I thought you got them wet and they turned in, like, it. the one turned into a gremlin. I'm so glad that gizmo never turned. Yeah, I but guess. But anyway. But, uh, so he gives birth to a bunch that look like, like Mogwai and then just grow into gremlins. No, that's not what happened. Okay. They were no, Mogwai. That, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> then they ate after midnight. Yes. Uh, that's what turns them into gerblins. Yes. Okay, you're right. They you're were right. Mogwai, but they were mischievous. They were mischievous Mogwai. Gizmo was like really good and the other ones weren't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The other ones like Stripe. Okay. But my question too is that, yes, yeah, Stripe, which it wasn't Go ahead, a Stripe. Tell it was me a your question because okay. I have a fucking question too. All right. It's not really a question. It's just an annoying thing that I observe about these old movies and they did it in Stranger Things too. Why the fuck... Do they go to the... Well, it made more sense in Stranger Things. But this man who is outside of school goes to the middle school science teacher. Yeah. To ask him questions about a, a creature that doesn't exist yet. That is like not on yeah. the species branch right. thing. Drove me fucking insane. What? This is unprecedented territory. This I, is berserk. I went to school for biology. I'm also trying to become a science teacher, like for my job one day. Yeah. And I would not know what to do with this if somebody brought in a new animal and was like, can you run tests? I would say, no, this is my day job. Like, I'm not an actual scientist. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a fucking middle school I'm teacher. A teacher. <laughs> who shows heart videos. Yeah. I can't Dude. draw blood from a creature that I know doesn't exist in like. From a creature that's smart enough to sit there, watch TV, and imitate race car noises and, say, and bright light, bright light. and he dry he's doing the driving motion uh -huh. so he understands how They're vehicles hyper work. intelligent hyper intelligent well Bro. and that's important later because he drives a little toy car around the little department which store. is impossible and re retardo yeah but you know how <laughs> these scenes are but yeah so they can drive <laughs> Yes. Uh, we don't even let you know what i mean like i mean they drive even human, as some a humans don't know how to do that properly yes Drives me insane. The whole movie, I was just like irritated by that. <laughs> but so, so yeah. So they get he gets wet. He boils. Little balls shoot off of him, and then they basically are immediately little mogwai. Yes. And um, I thought the FX were, for that were pretty cool. Actually, I thought like the boiling. It looks fine. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's a lot of the practical effects look that look cool to me in this. Actually, movie. nothing in this movie beyond just Gizmo looking like a toy. Gizmo looks bad, and there's a couple scenes with the gremlins all hoarded together. I where think the stop that motion the, looked bad. yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah. But. Uh, actually, like the gremlins look really good. Most of it looked okay when yeah. it shows them up close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most um, of it's the, scary because it's practical and it's puppets and it looks the same as it did in the eighties. Yeah. Um. So uh, then uh, here's <laughs> so the kid runs downstairs and he like catches his dad or whatever, and uh, his dad is like messing oh my with God, his card this machine, dark. and his his dad's messing with a card machine and the the machine makes bullet noises like gun noises. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, holy shit. But, um, and he's like, dad, you need to look at this. And then he shows his dad this line. There we go. Oh, I, no. This is where I was, I was like about to burst into tears laughing. Because <laughs> it is so obvious, like exposition. It's forced as fuck. Okay. The kid goes, um, dad, look. Uh, so he got wet and there's more magua. He turned, he gave birth to more magua or whatever. He multiplied. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, that one's stripe. He seems to be the leader. Right. 
What? I did throw up in my mouth. How did he infer that? I don't know. That is so unbelievable. Like he to me. just met them. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> and this one seems to be the leader? Why? Because he's the tallest? They're all doing the same thing. He's just the only one who looks different. Who looks different so you can note it later. Yeah, so you that can note it. That made me laugh so hard. He ends up being the last loving gremlin. Yeah, he's the one gremlin. Yeah. That, oh, but you can spot him so easily, too. How convenient. It wasn't the one that looked okay. like all the well, other ones. And it does later kind of demonstrate, like, the dog thing seemed to be his idea. Because when they were all laying in their little box bed, he woke up and he was like, <laughs> Okay. And then the next time you see the dog, he's tied up in the Christmas lights. And then it shows the... He's still a Mogwai at this point. It shows Stripe kind of being like, yeah, bitch. Like, he planned it. So he... Does seem kind of like a ringleader then. Okay, but the but you're da- right the guy, when they the kid say, didn't it, say it. Yeah, yeah. when they I say it. I was so I was like, that is hilarious to me. He, <gasps> Dad, Pretty, it's cringy. That one stripe. He seems to be the leader. <laughs> what a way to say that too. But so, and then the dad is like, let's market this. Yeah, he's like, oh, we can it's figure out. It's so a way to do this. evil. Yeah, and um, it is evil because their last name is Peltzer. I What's think. It, so see, yes, the capitalism theme, is the evil. Theme, oh! The themes are coming back. Consumed. I'm not sure what this movie is trying to tell us, guys. Well, it's Hollywood. Um, because then you see <laughs> the next bit. You see the act. The, uh, the I have a note in here where the actress is getting coffee using the coffee machine. Mm-hmm, the mom. Yeah, the mom and the actress breaks. She does. Yeah, because it's it's like set she up and giggles. it's making this like diarrhea, yeah. just like <laughs> just coming out. But then it goes. <laughs> and then it like bursts and the actress gets shocked actually if you watch it she gets shocked and she like covers her mouth and is about to crack up oh it's really funny that is funny um so uh sh- yeah then they, so yeah it looks so painful and then they bring in the fucking and he looks sad actually afterwards yeah when he he's looks like at them, screaming and shit he's and not he, being like maternal or paternal towards them he's no. like upset that they're upset by but the act of doing it is also mm-hmm. like if i could force women to like give birth that would be cruel of me to do like yeah yeah no it's not his choice yeah yeah and he is uh he's he takes it to the scientist and he's like look drop and just water drops water again. drops and i'm like dude did you not see he was like in agony while that was happening yeah and there's a lot of this movie that uh i start it kind of is brutal as fuck yes I, it was shocking Gore, it's gory it, it's when it gets brutal. to the ground part, yeah. They're like, so yeah, so now the, then they, I guess they get hungry. His clock is broken. Okay. And he's like, yeah, There's a couple of things before we get to the gremlin part. Okay. Um, the plow guy is in the bar and he gets super drunk because his plow broke down. That's, <laughs> That's why he's right. depressed. <laughs> That's right. And then I made a note because he's the only one in the bar and the love interest girl is, she was the bartender. Who also worked at the bank? Yeah, she works yeah. at the bar for free or okay. just for tips or something. Because she okay. says she made some comment of, I'm helping him out so he doesn't have to hire a waitress. Okay. So anyway, she's there. And um, I noticed that the plow guy is the only like drunk white guy who's like being crazy in the bar, like too drunk to go to drive home and stuff, who isn't like gross and handsy with the girl bartender. I noticed that. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That character go. is always yeah, like handsy. a sleaze bag. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he's not, which is good because later you find out he has a wife, so that's good. Right. Um, I have a note in here about caroling. Can we talk about caroling? Okay. What? It's stupid. <laughs> Does that really happen? I think it. I I have never seen it. I've never seen it. Um, I have a hard time believing. It, is it, it like, who does that? Is it like? But it must have group, existed. Church groups. Dorks. Or it's just your friend group. You're just like, let's do this. No, 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 no. That's some fucking. It's families? Uh, is it a family? I the, mean, what is happening? It's a, it definitely... It's cold a, outside. <laughs> they and nobody bundle wants up to and, hear you sing. Yeah, it shows carolers singing to this old couple who are just on their front porch watching. Right. That is so awkward. Are you supposed to tip them? I don't know. I have no idea. It Fuck seems caroling. Like, that is the worst okay, shit. Okay, whoa. Ariel, get off the table. Get <laughs> off the table. <laughs> Jesus. Put your pants back on. <laughs> Um, I just thought that was weird, but that's also when we get the little uh, line that the love interest girl drops of that she hates Christmas. Yeah, um, <laughs> which 
holy shit. Holy fucking We'll get to shit. that in a second. Yes. Because uh, the okay, one yes. thing that made me laugh about that scene is he gets into his tractor thing. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, I'm guessing I'm going to go home. Be careful. They put gremlins in your Foreshadowing. foreign cars yeah. and shit. And I was like, okay. Um, you're insane. <laughs> and that's why it's called gremlins? Weird. But okay. uh, then uh, he, they're like, um, you might want to walk home. And he's like, Ugh. Okay, you're right. You know what? I am going to walk home. <laughs> Maybe the most unbelievable part of the movie. Absolutely. Is no drunk has ever been like... You know what? You're right. Yeah. You know what? I have had too many. I will oh, walk okay. in three feet of snow all the way home. <laughs> I guess it's a small town because that guy walked to work. Un- I was like, nope. That's never how that <laughs> but happens. But then later his plow is at his house, so... Who knows? Oh. <laughs> he could have come back and yeah, drove it Yeah, just home. faking. That always ends in like a fight and someone like throwing up. Yes. And like, it's never like that. No. So clean. So uh, at the same the same night that the Mogwai eat after midnight in the main character's home is the same exact night that the Mogwai in the science teacher's classroom eats after midnight. Convenient. Okay. The science teacher, we're supposed to believe is staying past midnight at the school. <laughs> I hated the scientist character. What? On earth? <laughs> he was so stupid. And they and also main character guy did not tell science teacher any of the rules. No. <laughs> he just showed he him the He was thing. irresponsible yes. with this fucking mogwai. And the science teacher had okay, this pissed me off so much. Had half of a brain chilling. I on his saw desk, that too. Out of a jar. It was it I saw that. I was shocked by that. It was fake. I laughed audibly and wrote it down as a note because I was like, I thought that's no. why you laughed. <laughs> I did that on purpose for effect. Okay. <laughs> I said, no, that's not ever. I mean, yeah, you're right. It must have been like a rubber It was thing. like a ceramic thing. That's when okay. I learned he was a teacher. I didn't know he Ryan, was a teacher. I thought he was the scientist. That's just unobservant of you. I know. Because he walked into a school to do that. I didn't pay attention to that part. I took so many notes. <laughs> Look at how many notes I have. Yeah, you do like, have a lot. I have a ton of notes in here. Um... <laughs> Okay. So I did miss a couple of the detail things. Also, real quick, school is in session on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Good point. Didn't Great even notice that. Great attention to detail there. Yeah, didn't even notice that. All right, I'm going to change. I'm now second page of notes. Um, So they can read. The Mogwai can read. What? Yeah. I missed that. When? Um, It re. What does it fucking read? It reads like the name of something. Uh, like a product? Fuck. I didn't take that. I just have the note. It reads in all caps. <laughs> okay. Just another testament to the fact that it's well, brilliant. Yeah. Because Stripe is straight up like Andy. It's Billy. His name is Billy. Billy. His name is Billy. Some he kind says of, yeah. Billy. And he's like, kill. And yeah, you're like, right. He knows words. Mm-hmm. He knows the English language and they can read. After watching Snow White. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, by the way, when they do eat oh, the chicken. Fuck. Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They're yes. like slow. So what happens slippy. is um, they are, he's eating like a bologna sandwich and he's just watching TV and just hanging out. And the box of the second generation of Mogwai are like freaking out. They're acting hungry. And he's like, I already fed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what they eat. But anyway, I guess just regular people No food. one ever talks about what fucking Mogwai food is. Nope. There, is it cat food? Drove like, me crazy. There's no instructions. Yeah. There's so all these rules, but there's like, no fucking detail on what they eat, what their diet consists of. They seem like koala eat. Like, yeah. I would assume they're vegetarians, but he goes and gets them a plate that's just fucking open in his chicken. fridge yeah, yeah. of fried chicken drumsticks. <laughs> Gives them the entire plate. And then, yes, there are close-ups of Ugh. their mouth and the sinew. In the meat. Yeah. And it reminds me of why I don't want to eat that. <laughs> yeah. It's so it, repulsive. It was disgusting. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, that's when, they, and you're like, okay, it was right before midnight. So he looks at the clock to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like, I don't know. Like, like 22. Yeah. Yeah. And um, then the clock is, we find out is broken and has been chewed, the wires have been chewed through. That's my favorite because he looks at his mom slowly and he's like, what's going on his here? Mom. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> the fuck? You but think your mom knows? Yeah, she like, seems like a smart lady. Mom, did you come and chew through my uh, clock wires? <laughs> Mother. Mom, you chewing through my clock again? wires again? <laughs> Am I on glue? <laughs> um, so then that's when the dad is like off at the invention. Right, yep. Invention convention. Invention convention. And there is a full on robot. <laughs> <laughs> walking around this thing. It looks yeah. exactly like a fallout robot. 
Mm. The, from the game fall. Never played it. Well, there's a robot that is like a direct ripoff of this thing. That's hilarious. Yeah. They watched Gremlins and they were like, "We should." That's make, a good design. Yeah, let's model that. Um, but yeah, he doesn't. He's just like, oh, and I've got some stiff competition. He's there with a Swiss Army bathroom, bathroom pocket buddy. knife, buddy. <laughs> and there's a fucking robot there. Go home, bruh. Yeah. You what are you suck. doing? Also, yeah, is he making money? Like what? And also, every time you open your fucking bathroom, buddy, it's not the. It's it the least impressive inve- invention, and it always fucking jizzes on him. He squirts him with toothpaste and then and then um, shaving cream. Yeah. It's two oh, separate shaving occasions. cream. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so because they ate and his clock was uh, unplugged. No, it wasn't unplugged. It was chewed. That's the right. Wires. They chewed. One of the Mogwai planned this, pre-planned this, <laughs> and chewed through his clock so that he would feed them after midnight. Well, they're geniuses. They, right. they understand technology. They understand race cars. They understand the English language. how to read and write <laughs> and everything. So because of that, he f- goes ahead and like fed them, and then they go into this weird cocoon. Yeah. That and- I guess he doesn't realize until, like, they must not have done that right then and there because he leaves for work in the morning and he's not it's not addressed his mom finds them later yeah where were they after? exactly how long does it take to go into that pupil stage i guess they were just like hopping around and then they just kind of like ooze went into to sleep the, and then he just didn't knows. realize because they were all over his room the weird cocoons were yeah <laughs> they're disgusting by the way yeah well anytime i've ever seen like a any sort of pupil stage in any movie Mm-hmm. It's always repulsive. So pupil stage means cocoon. Does it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm saying that loosely because I also think that pupae, pupae, however you say it in the Pupi-o-pi. plural. Pupae. <laughs> however you say it in the plural, which is p u p a e, they don't necessarily Pupi. have to be in cocoons. They can be like larval. Oh, okay. But I'm, uh, I don't know for sure. But I know he, that it he, is. He tells the scientist guy, he's like, they go through a pupil stage first. Yeah. So, so I d- okay. I, it does describe that, but it just might not be strictly only that. I'm not sure. I'm okay. not a scientist. So. so we're at the area where the gremlins have now hatched. Yeah, they hatch out of their cocoons. Their cocoons. <laughs> and they are, uh, they like you said, they look pretty good. They don't yeah. Look, they they're don't look disgusting. Um, I mean, the, the effects look pretty right. good. Yeah. Yes. Um. And uh, they're little fuck boys. Yeah, they they suck suddenly. But then, so not the, really suddenly, but worse. Yeah, now they're just terrorized. They're like, terrorists. That, that's their their plan is to just their, like what wreak is their havoc. motivation? Yeah, that's it. They just, just want like to destroy havoc. everything, but only at night. They can't do it during the day because the sun will kill them. Right. So what a weird survival strategy. It sucks. Like, we, what are they going to do once everything is destroyed? Why is that better for them? Well, here's what I want to talk about is. That, yeah, exactly. First of all, yeah, they get themselves killed because they're yeah. ter- they're terrorizing people. Yeah. And when they do get themselves killed, like the mom comes down and up to this point, the movie's been like whimsical and like, oh, look, his inventions suck. And Except right before his mom discovers them, the scientist, the scientist, the science teacher. Even this point, the scientist, yeah, because the, sci- teach- the science teacher is the first guy to actually encounter one and get attacked. Uh, murdered. He- Murdered? I thought just yes. put to sleep. Pretty sure murdered. Well, it, it, even that way he gets murdered is cute because he gets <laughs> stabbed in the butt with a It's like a syringe. revenge thing because he took the blood of that mogwai. See, that could seem like a Disney Channel murder to me. Mm, I guess. You know what I mean? A Disney but Channel then, murder. But then we get to the mom mm-hmm. who's coming downstairs who's terrified. And the way she deals with it, the first thing she does is she stabs it in the chest. Yeah. A gremlin in the chest like... Ten times. No, yes. she blends one. Yes, first. she does that too. She puts them in a blender, and guts and shit, and legs and, and limbs green. are flying yeah. out of this blender. And I was like, my jaw was. I like, saw it. You saw my <laughs> face. I was like, what? This is fucking. It took a turn. Brutal. Then she stabs one, and then mm-hmm. she puts one in the fucking mic- microwave. Yeah. And you watch him cook, and his head explodes. Radiation. Yes. It's fucking sick. Yes. It is. I was like, what is the tone of this movie? I think I probably had that same experience that you did when I was like 10 and watching this for the first time. It's fucked. It's scarring. Yeah, <laughs> I, it was shocking for sure. And I mean, I don't really know what else we can... Well, right before... Because they are so mischievous that like he uh, calls his mom to warn. Because, okay, the science teacher calls him and is like, they've hatched. So he goes to see it. He's all excited. Yeah, he brought him a candy bar. To eat, did he's he? like, he's oh, like, I got a candy bar the for you. Did. That's what another yes. thing that's just like annoying. Like they give love them, junk food. 
How do they know that? I don't know. Well, it's almost as if they go for that specifically. They don't know that. They it doesn't Nobody show them ever really. Them the spinach. first thing they ever try to give them anything else, yeah, it's just they give them fucking KFC and a candy bar. Yeah, is all you see them attempt to give them. And it seems the, like they would eat like they go bird for, food or something. They go for movie theater candy and popcorn You're on right. their own. The gremlins do. Yes. Yeah. So no, that's what I mean. The gremlins are like all about the junk. Food. I guess the gremlins actually are just mogwai still though. That's just a phase of it's, mogwai. I think it's like an evolutionary jump. Okay. Like yeah. the missing link, but you wouldn't. We shouldn't be referring to them as gremlins. They're not gremlins now. They're they're still just a mogwai. They're a wet mogwai who got fed after midnight. You mean that gremlins is just slang for it? Gremlins is what is it's a, the movie's only called Gremlins because the guy says that's what's in foreign manufactured <laughs> vehicles. I thought that was just foreshadowing. I don't. It's unrelated. Yeah, it's it, weird that he would choose that word to describe foreign people. No, not foreign people. Oh. I thought that's what he was saying. No. Just foreign You things. thought this guy was just like a huge xenophobe? Yeah. No. He says that the foreign uh, cars and machines and all this stuff. Those are gremlins? No. He says they don't work because they have gremlins inside okay, them. Okay. Does he mean demons? No. He means gremlins. Not what these guys are, though. He sees one in his tractor when it kills him. One and gremlin he's like, gets that's in the what tractor. I'm talking he about. He goes, there's a gremlin in my cab. And what I the fuck? Wait a second. I need to know. Is gremlin a thing outside of this movie? Uh, I mean, it's people know like the word gremlin, and they look like that. Everybody assumes a gremlin gremlin looks like. Is that this. because of the movie? If, uh, maybe. Because <laughs> no, how would he know that's what it is? Started somewhere. Is that's it what, like, it's like a, a lore? Is it's it like, like a lore cretin? character. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a creature. Yeah, it's a creature. It's okay. a mythical creature. I thought this movie just made it up based on whatever. Just. The creativity. <laughs> no, no, no. Gremlins existed. The word gremlins existed before the movie Gremlins. Yeah, I knew the word did, but I just didn't know if like it, well, was, it was referring the same to something. As, well, yeah, but I thought it was like kind of how people like the word succubus, but that can look many different ways. Yeah, gremlins are always kind. Succubus has always looked kind of the same. I, I suppose. I just you didn't. I just didn't. I've never heard of that outside of this movie, so I didn't know it was its own lore thing. Okay. I didn't know that. So that's good to know. That like clarifies it a little bit because he was talking about, so he's talking about like foreign that's technology. That's why they suck. Foreign manufacturers put gremlins in their machines. That's why they suck. He can't be serious. What does he really mean? That's what I'm saying. He's the pro-American manufacturing guy <laughs> and he's a drunk idiot. That's what I'm, what I'm saying. Yeah. Hmm. It's not like, what the fuck? I don't know. But I but mean. But that's why he, I think, so his death is actually twice as tragic because not only does he get run over by the machine he loves he also gets run over by the machine he loves and finds out a gremlin he see the first time he sees a gremlin it's in his precious his american, american yeah. made kentucky fucking well the reason too why he got drunk that night is because his plow broke down and they had to repair it and they put foreign engineering in it oh yeah they, so that's they why say he that? was like yeah that's why he was upset. So that's why. So he's like. So I don't know if calling him a drunk is really accurate. I think he just got just drunk. Just got drunk that one time. Yes. Because okay. he was upset. Okay. But he is a dummy still. He just has that drunk face. Yeah. You know and he's I mean? like, you know, kind of a redneck. Yeah. He looks very uh, uh, drunky. <laughs> um, so uh, then this is where the movie goes to shit. And. <laughs> they start to not that it was like super high quality before but it just i was fatigued yeah this goes on so fucking long this it's is the just bulk of the movie carnage it's you it's just like ooh, isn't this funny look the gremlin is tearing up this tape cassette yes ooh, a gremlin is rifling through the trash they're ooh, so gremlin... mischievous yeah and it's like it, that's what i'm saying it's like anxiety inducing yeah i was stressed out watching it and they then they it, well the really the worst part was when uh, Stripe, like she killed almost all the gremlins, but Stripe got away. Yeah. And then he just jumped in a pool. And then that, because the amount of water God. directly translates to the amount of gremlins right. or m m mogwai or Wet mogwai, which when yeah. they come out, they were wet already. What? The ones no, that he spawned. No, they were fed spawned. already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. he... Tr changed so it's whatever form that they are that's what then they get wet that's yeah. what you spawn yes that's so that doesn't stupid. make sense at all i hate this i hate this <laughs> so they um 
and then the, the, during this whole carnage bit, this is where you start to go like, okay, what are their fucking powers and like, or or what is their knowledge right. capacity? Because they do things like um, they are all sitting around playing poker at one point. Oh my god, I have that as a note too. That Steven Spielberg thought it would be funny to have gremlins in typical bar stereotypes. Because there's the guys playing poker, that but then there's scene. also a guy, or a guy, a gremlin, chilling, like, alone, smoking a pipe. And it's supposed to, is that supposed to be a parody of something? Yes, but I don't know of what. But I, I know either. that it's a bar stereotype. Yeah, but it was, like, jazzy. Yes. It was, like, burm, 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 burm. Like he's, he's a like, detective or something? Uh, oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. And then a dude, another gremlin has puppets. That and is like, so burm, 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 lame. Burm, 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 burm. Yeah, I hated that. What's even more crazy about that bar scene is the girl... <laughs> trying to actually serve them she's alcohol. She's pouring them <laughs> shots! She's not, like, trying to escape for her life. She's, like, doing her job. She's facilitating. I'm like, <laughs> you know they're not gonna pay. <laughs> she, what does she think that they're, like, what holding the her hostage? What the fuck is she doing? Yeah, like, she has no choice. I don't know. They're still attacking sometimes her. Sometimes like, they're murdery and sometimes they're not. It's very weird. Yeah, and are... They're not consistent. I ha- she doesn't seem to be afraid for her life in she's that moment. She's just like, oh, what a busy night. She's stressed out. Yeah, because she's trying to serve so many gremlins. What the fucking hell? There's every Ugh. single set piece, there's a gremlin hanging from something, spinning oh, yeah. around. The bar is destroyed. It's annoying as shit. They are playing poker, poker <laughs> and one of uh, fucking Stripe pulls a gun out and yeah. shoots another gremlin. And I'm like, okay, so they can understand complex card, human card games. Right. Like, if I went to another country, I couldn't play, like, Chinese checkers right now. I don't know how to play. <laughs> I don't know either. And I have the ability to. Like, yes. these are animals. Yeah, and they learned very quickly. That's the first time they've played it. It's, it's It drives me crazy. I can't understand yeah, it takes you out of it 100%. The, so, I mean, I don't even know. We could just go down the list of all the okay, crazy but antics. Well, let's but let's not forget that this is also around the time when the girl, she gets rescued by Billy. And then Billy, like, she opens up to him. About why she hates Christmas. Yeah, we have to talk about that. Like, because oh my fucking God. What the hell? The writers for this movie decided that the reason why she hates Christmas is because her dad died on Christmas Eve. That makes sense. But how? By getting stuck By pretending to be Santa. And rotting yes. there for three days. So she... And her mom are like, where's dad? He never comes home. They think he just left. And then she goes to light a fire one cold night and smells her dead dad in the chimney. Yeah. Oh my God. It was God. so <laughs> tacked this on. This is the and thing. brutal. Yes. It's, what is this it's, movie? That is the most over the top thing on the fucking planet. It's. Like, what? Yeah, that would take me some time to really think about the most horrific yes. Christmas thing I could think like, of. Like, just have him die in a car accident. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Good. Roads are icy. Yeah. He died in a, he dri- it's he, just as he tragic. He died running out to go get a last yes. minute Christmas present. Yeah. That does the same thing. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, oh, she would still hate Christmas. a Christmas present yeah, she so would still badly. Hate it. Yeah, she would hate it even it more. Just, it, it, the only thing it did was, like, really put a damper on my childhood. Not only that, it made me think your fucking dad's an idiot. Right, because aren't chimneys pretty small? No one goes down chimneys. Like, no that's one goes why, up and down chimneys. Like Santa is magic. Ever. Yeah, because if you ever see a cartoon where a, a dude goes down a chimney, <laughs> they they taper at the bottom into like a ghost and sink. <laughs> they go, whoop. You know what I mean? Okay, what is a chimney sweep? How do they sweep a chimney? They are in the bottom of the chimney. They're usually, they were children back in the day. Oh, Jesus and Christ. They, because they were tiny and they have a long stick. Okay. With a with a broom at the end, so they can sweep the inside of the chimney. They don't fucking go down it with like rags. What an idiot! Yeah, no one goes down chimneys. And by the way, he did get he got stuck, but he died instantly because he broke his. He neck. slipped and broke his neck, I guess. So what? He broke his neck on the rim of the chimney and then fell in. No, no, no. I'm picturing him all fully submerged. Okay. And then, like, he's kind of using his feet to, like, guide himself down in uh-huh. his hands. And then, like, he slips and f- somehow his spine cracks. See, enough. how do you break your neck when you're in a tube, essentially? I, like a square I don't know. Tube. When I was a kid, I, it made sense. Like, I just thought, like, oh, like, he slipped and his body kind of... And broke. how do you slip? Like, and if he slipped, it's why didn't he fall all the there. way down? Here's my theory. He's on the roof, okay? They and would see him if... He's on, he, no, no. Let me, let me get... He's okay. on the roof and he's trying to get into the chimney. And when he's trying to get in, he goes, whoa, slips on the icy 
slanted roof, easy to slip on. He slips on it, hit, Tumbles. cracks his neck in on the rim of the thing and continues to fall into the chimney. Flips over the chimney? Yeah, so at the momentum of him falling in, he cracks his neck Jesus. and then he goes and falls down. But let's not forget, too, he has a, like a bag of presents. Yeah, yeah. So all of that, because he didn't go in naturally. Let's assume he had the intelligence enough to look at the chimney and go, I could fit down that. Also, this was but such a secret weird. that like he didn't even tell his wife he was going to do this. How weird would it have been for you to be yeah. like, I have this great idea and not tell me. Yeah, you would just like, think it's a home You're not doing invader. that for me. You're <laughs> yeah, doing that for the kids. And you would think that I had abandoned you in this time. Yeah. yeah and then she would have idea. at least had the wherewithal to look, you know, to in just look. In the fucking chimney. I hated that. It was so tacked on. I just have to say, it really did, like, really, really affect my childhood. Like, it made me irrationally afraid of weird freak accidents. All of this movie would would really affect me. I'm glad I never have seen it. It's trash. Because yeah, it's, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> It's horrifying, for sure. I mean, it makes me feel bad feelings. The other things that I wanted to kind of comment on were that uh, they were all in the movie theater. The movie theater scene in general is pretty nuts. But then I hate that. There's the also a solution. They, hold on. They, they have a flash dance parody. They do? One of the gremlins puts on, the, you know, the flash dance. I have never seen flash dance, but I know the parody of, like, you put on the... The um, leg, leg warmers, warmers yeah. yeah, and then you're like jogging in place really fast with your legs, yeah. And it, it, one of the gremlins does that, huh? So they're aware of pop culture suddenly, even though they're also, they're just born. They were just born. <laughs> it's what on fucking earth is annoying. Happening. Yeah, this movie is all over the place. I have a question. Um, Steven Spielberg was he involved in Howard the Duck? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Okay, because there was flash dance in that too. He was just obsessed with flash dance. Did he direct flash dance? Oh, I don't know. I don't. Think I don't so. either. Um, but he, no, there's no way he did. Yeah. <laughs> but he must have been really obsessed with the '80s, like in the time of the '80s. Well, was... that's a big movie, and that's parodied all over the place. I still see people parodying that. flash dance. Yeah, that's one we got to do. Then. That's the same one where she does the chair in the water. The water, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I watched it a long, long time but ago. But the the implications right. it doesn't of make a sense that doing they that would is know. crazy. So then Billy's solution is to lock them all in the theater and then just blow it up. Yeah, it's he so what Inglorious Bastards rips off Gremlins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> if only he made a little video of him on the screen going, You're all going to burn, Gremlins, and then put that like splice that into the That would the have been a monstrous addition to this movie. Yeah. But like that's a theater is on the strip. It's on a strip. Yeah, with other buildings. It would have burned down the entire strip. Well, it doesn't burn down solely. It explodes. And then it's just, like, fine. Yeah, it's a contained demolition. However, uh, Stripe was across the street getting more candy, so he survives, of course. Of course. Because yeah. the story's not and over yet. And then he's yet. like, look, it's the leader, Stripe. You can tell because he looks different. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah. All the other gremlins look exactly the same. <sighs> so he uh, jumps, he and Gizmo, because Gizmo's in his backpack, they go into the department store because, like, Stripe runs off. He's looking for water. Mm -hmm. And they go after him to try and, like, kill him to finally end this whole thing. It's starting to get light outside. And finally, Billy's dad is, like, starting to head home. Yeah. This is presumably Christmas morning, I think. Yeah, and he's been at this fucking invention convention. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I would support your inventing and stuff. Mm -hmm. But if we had kids... Well, I guess he's an adult. So it's not as important you'd be home for Christmas. But I would think it's weird for the convention to plan it on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Like, nobody wants to work on Christmas Eve. They have vendors and stuff working at the convention. Yeah. Okay. That's stupid. Whatever. That's so... And but no that, one's that's school. hardly my biggest problem in the movie. <laughs> they fucking fake Christmas caroling. How did they know how to fucking sing Christmas carols? They dress the way. They format the well, same way. How do they way. know about they, culture at they all? They go into Deagle's house and they launch... She is, has one of these staircases. She called... By the way, she, she calls the carolers... Chair. Yeah, steer chair. Yeah. yeah, she calls the caroler. She's like little glue sniffers. Yeah, that's fucking I caught funny that. though. So this glue thing glue was glue sniffing a, wasn't was is a thing. big deal. Yeah, I like I it. Missed, Let's bring it back. I missed it. But so they 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 mal make her chair malfunction when she's running. She's like, not yet, not yet. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. Does she through, think they're demons? I don't know what the fuck she thinks they are. But she's like, I'm not ready. Yeah, I'm not ready to she die. She said, they're here for me. I'm not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like demons are coming to collect. Well, they do. They're caroling. They're not just wild beasts. They're She's ready for demons to come get her. That's what she thinks the end will be? I Jesus Christ. I don't know. This lady's insane. But So her chair malfunctions and goes 55 miles an hour <laughs> around her staircase and launches her out her 
main her front window and she dies upstairs and she dies that way and the cops are just like oh let's get out of here they and don't like guy, try to help at all that guy they after the after billy tells the kid the cops like what's going on the cops see a guy getting attacked and they're like what's that stuff all over him yeah also they're drunk yeah I mean, I know it's a small town and it's Christmas Eve. And it's Eve. Christmas, but they're drunk. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm, there's so much more bullshit in this movie that drives me insane. I need to know, like, if that is based on any kind of real world experience. Like, does that happen in small towns? What, cops getting drunk? Yeah, there's like two cops on duty totally. for Christmas Eve. Totally. What the? F no way. Totally. It oh, shouldn't God. happen. It shouldn't happen, but... Human well, beings don't have that much hey, integrity. Hey, criminals, that's a good night for you to go out and do your crime in. Oh, trust me. That's already <laughs> big enough. You don't need to give the criminals any tips. In case you were wondering, Christmas um, Eve would be a good time. Yeah, I mean, there's all kind of, They're watching... Yeah, by mean, the way, the movie they're watching is Snow White. Snow White, which is interesting because that movie came out in, like, the 60s, right? Uh, probably. It's fucking old. <laughs> Why is it in the theater? <laughs> Not an 80s movie. Because they didn't change the kiosk. Then. They, it's not like they found the old movie and were like, this blew is our favorite. The, blew off the dust and, and put it in. And then went yeah. outside and changed yeah, the, no. the no. letters. Nope. They, that was what was actively showing. Yes. And by the way, let, let's do a little scene real quick. This is how I watch Snow White. Oh, I remember this song. Oh, you mean you don't break out and, care, and like sing the same song that they're singing with all your friends? This is That's not even what they do. <laughs> They are all. They are watching Snow White and the Seven Dwarves by swinging from rafters, throwing candy, going ah, ah, the entire time. It's the most of, exciting thing of all time. Have you ever seen like six-year-olds hyped up on candy and cake and stuff? Because that's what I imagine they're kind of making fun of. Is that kids go fucking nuts at birthday parties and stuff? Mm. So that's what I'm imagining. I've never seen kids act that way not like that not uh, definitely not to that degree but yeah, like if they have the ability to enjoy consuming media how can they possibly enjoy consuming media by in an environment like that <laughs> no i don't think they're enjoying that <laughs> well they obviously they know about flash dance they're it's aware of poker they can so confusing. they can sit down and calmly smoke and play poker they're also ryan they're also aware of christmas they're aware of like the yes. Virgin Mary giving birth to Jesus in the hay or whatever. How do you know that? Well, because that's what that's what Christmas is, is right? I mean, they're caroling. They're they are singing yeah, Christmas they're carols. Caroling. Like, yeah, they're singing carols. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, now you were right where they broke into the convenience store. The department store. Okay, department store. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Not really. I mean, it's just the only difference is that it is huge and there's multiple yeah, I know departments. What you mean. Yeah. yeah. Like, and uh, I mean, what? Nothing really happens, really, except for that he finds water. So he's about to get himself wet again, and they're like, "Oh, that we." Oh, they have blew a fight. A bunch. Like yeah, they're him, fighting. He's fighting Billy back and forth, back and forth. Gizmo's yeah. riding around in a toy car. Impossible. Like a Barbie car. Yeah, that, that drives me crazy. That drives me crazy in like Toy Story and stuff too. Like, yeah, because like you need real the remote. Quick, you also, if you don't have the remote, you can turn the dial on the bottom, and that's how it goes. But. You don't have... The dial on the bottom. Yeah, there's like a little thing that you can twist on the bottom and then it will go... I can buy that No, maybe no, no. That's not on remote control cars. I can buy that maybe that some of them work that way. You thought it was... That's a wind-up car. And that only goes for I know. like seven f feet max. I know, I know. I'm just saying that like if you don't... If it's not a remote, I guess I could see it maybe being that instead. Either way, it's battery operated. Whatever. I'm just trying to make it make sense <laughs> nope. in my head. The That's thing that doesn't make sense is that there's not there's not gasoline mm -hmm. and there's not a brake and a gas pedal. No, the the steering wheel doesn't work. No. The horn doesn't work. Sometimes he hits they a might. horn. Maybe. That's a very <laughs> in it, the later Barbie not, editions. Definitely not in the steering wheel. No. And be a button on the remote control. And so so, Does he help at all? No. By the way, it's like showing him driving around so and it's epic. like supposed to be like he's the, this is his big hero moment. Yeah. All he does is crash. Yeah. Doesn't do it. Good I job, guess he Gizmo. Get, I guess he gets to where he needs to be faster, I guess. Where does he need to be? He needs to be where he can go because he goes, right light, right light. And he like pulls the, the oh, thing. Oh, so to he like just reveal. lets Billy know that it's garage doors so that he can open so. up the door to the sun. I, did Billy open it or did Gizmo? I don't. Oh, Gizmo did because he got hurt. So doing he it. just got to where he needed to be. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's so retarded. All it is. But anyway, and they—he's holding on to the fountain. The gremlin is stripe. Yeah, he's getting splashed. Yeah, because earlier you saw a single drop. A single drop works. 
You can see on his little gremlin hand, little droplets of Why does of he need to go to the top? Why doesn't he just go to the first? He climbs up the tiers of the fountain. The tiers of the fountain are wet. Right, that are wet. What? <laughs> the tiers of a fountain are wet. <laughs> that sounds way more epic than yeah. I thought it would. Um, meanwhile, Billy's dad is like driving down the road. He's like, what happened to this town? <laughs> it's like Before in shambles. Before that, though, he's... he's Gizmo's using a chainsaw, and I genuinely, I mean, not Gizmo, uh, Stripe, Stripe, is using a chainsaw, and it's the world's toughest wooden bat. Oh, I have a note also. I said strongest bat ever. I thought maybe it was aluminum for a second, but then I saw wood chips, <laughs> it's wood. and I was like, what? Yeah. When you have a chainsaw, that would go through it, like, instantly. Yeah. Done. That's how long it would take me to chop through a baseball bat. I mean. Especially if someone's applying backwards pressure. Yes, against, helping you out. Yeah, literally helping you out. Maybe the gremlin has like very little upper body strength. <laughs> Enough upper body? If you let <laughs> if that saw fall on <laughs> a bat, it would chop through Plus, it. he's obviously pushing back. Whatever. That's just another dumb fucking thing. <laughs> it drove me crazy. Movie. But I did. I kind of was like, this movie's gory enough and brutal enough, weirdly, that he might, Billy might get a chainsaw. If, if that chainsaw went through the bat and cut Billy's face in half you and it showed it surprised. in like a faces of death scene, I'd be like, oh. That would have surprised me a bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Maybe <laughs> I'm going a little too far. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's weirdly brutal in some places. No, it is. The thing that they, I think they get away with it because it's green blood. Yeah. You're totally so, right. That you know, stupid little caveat. Basically, we're at the end now. And he, he, uh, the sun. They open the thing, and sunlight hits him. And boy, oh my god, it is talk so, about brutal. Yes, watching him melt is so disgusting. It's grosser than them eating chicken. Yes, which I didn't think anything could be grosser. It looks than that. awesome. <laughs> yeah, if it yeah. was in a, if, if it, it, it was does. in a, an alien movie, I would be like, "Holy if shit!" It, you mean if it was in a proper horror movie? Yes, like <laughs> or just you know a little bit more, uh, a movie with a vibe that like allowed me to like prepare myself for like. You intense, mean if you didn't just sit through an hour and forty five minutes of, of like idiocy? cartoonish yeah. nonsense? Yeah. yeah, and then you see this thing that's a, a, an animal. By the way, like there's a part where like uh, Gizmo is they're throwing darts at Gizmo. Yeah, they have. And like, I'm like, my heart feels bad. He looks super cute, and it's a little little animal. Yes. And I'm like, this. I don't like seeing animals get hurt, and then seeing this thing just melting. Yes. And you see his veins and shit, and, and it's then all his bones. bones. And, ugh. So it, then he falls into the fountain while melting. His eyeballs are bugging out of his skull and Everything's shit. Everything's bubbling and shit. And his skeleton flops out. Yeah, like he's not done. He's like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. He and you see jumps that out of the fountain. Like melt and yes. shit. And it's basically he finally is just like a weird radioactive puddle. It looks cool. But it's intense. It's the it's the climax that we all need after this crazy movie. I guess you're supposed to be like, finally. Like, yes. thank God. But I don't see stripe enough. Doing no, anything like he's I didn't not. hate Stripe really. He just seemed like another like gremlin. He, you're right. He needed to be more of a dick. Yeah, he should have done something fucked up. Yeah, like for murdered me to, the like, mom. Want to see this uh, like personal view? Like you see the, <laughs> the one entire in a microwave too. God, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. You're not a gore fan. I am actually, but, but just not in the guise of a kids movie. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and don't make me fall in love with the animal first. Yeah, and then just Thank because God it wasn't just because it looked uglier, like if I, I'm not, I don't feel any better about watching a lizard die than that's, I do. You know, that's you know interesting I mean? though, because people do technically, or not. I guess you do. I guess I do word, a little bit though, because yeah, snakes I don't mind like, as much. If you saw somebody like murdering a baby bear, that'd be so horrible to watch. Right. But then if you saw someone cutting the head off a snake, you're able to watch that. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking generally. Most yeah. people are fine with that. Yeah, but the the difference wasn't baby bear. It was like baby bear to. To uh, uh, an iguana. Like a really mean one. But you know what I'm saying? Yes. But it's like, I don't want to see someone No, kill I don't an want... Yeah, no, for sure. Even if they're mean, like, that's their prerogative. They're animals. They're too... They're close. That's what's weird, too. They're very too. close. And they're they're smart. That's weird, too. Yeah, I was just going to say, like... Just because they're, they're rambunctious. kind of human. None of the laws... Like, they're not breaking... They're not breaking any laws. They're just pests. Well, they are breaking and entering places. Yeah, but the laws only apply to human beings. You don't oh, char you don't put a fucking yeah, deer I mean, in jail if it right. busts through your house. <laughs> you are technically correct. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I guess so they're pests so you can kill them, but I've never heard yeah, of a fucking animal control. that can play poker. No, but there's animal control. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's just a very it's a weird, weird line. ambiguous moral valley that it drops you in. I don't like it. Yeah. If you are an adult and you watch this, it's different. So that's that's what's weird too, is like I don't think it's a kids movie, but if you watch it as an adult, it's so weird. 
It sucks. Yeah, no, it's terrible. The movie fucking sucks. This movie, I was so, I mean, I technically I chose it, but mostly because it was on Netflix and I was like, this mix, you know, this is part of culture. Yeah. But like, I remember hating it as a kid. Well, I had never seen it and I expected to like it. I'm relieved that you didn't. I hated it. Because I thought I, we were going to have a fight. I have <laughs> several bullet points where I'm like, I hate this fucking movie. I hate this fucking movie. Really? I hate this fucking movie. I, I hated it. The I entire mean, time I hated it. Watching it the second time, as I just did, like, I didn't hate it as much, for sure. I didn't, like, hate it the whole time. Yeah. I just kind of was waiting for it to be over. But I also already knew what happened. Okay. Well, I guess there's no reason for us to review it. We just kind of did. I, I mean, mean, I, mean, I would like, give, give it, our sum summaries of it. I would give it, you know, th three blended up gremlins out of ten. Three? Yeah. That's the worst score I've That's ever given, fair. I think. That's fair, I guess. Yeah, because, you know, there are some parts that are okay. I don't if think, this is your bag, I don't you think, might like yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think a zero is ever going to be achievable, and I don't think a ten is ever going to be achievable. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I think there's, like, some qualities, but I I felt annoyed. Like, it was yeah. it was a pain in the ass to watch, to watch it. I think they phoned it in. I don't think they did. I think it was... No, why is it such a successful the details, movie? The details are so terrible. Like, there are so many inconsistencies. Yeah, but people don't care. didn't care about shit like that, I guess, back then. I mean, this is the same people that made The Goonies. Why do people like it? I don't know. Why have I heard about it? Why Why, why is there, like... I don't know. I why don't are know. there sequels? There's why like is it a big four. deal? I don't why know. is it a big deal? I think people just are obsessed with the special effect... Or the, the you know practical effects of the gremlins. They just like how it looks. Fucking blows. That has to be the only thing. They must have seen it at some weird age that they it were was like, like <laughs> perfect. Yeah, they were probably middle school. I bet. Yeah. Yep. Must have been. So at the end, uh, we didn't talk about this, but basically the grandfather, like shop guy from the Chinese shop, comes yeah, back yeah, and yeah. gets Gizmo. Yes. He's mad and at the dad. He's like, "Fuck you." So then we get the uh, yeah. He's that's when he says the thing about like you treat a magwai, you treat do what. Natural resources. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's like, okay, what is that point? But then it get, throws you another twist where the dad's narration sums up and he puts it in a nice package <laughs> and he says, next time your washing machine malfunctions or something, be careful. You might have a gremlin in your house. Right. So are we supposed to take away from this movie that every that their prerogative was to mess up like our technology? That's, it's berserk. Yeah. What the fuck? I, I was know. like, okay, Chinese guy, I get it. There's like some kind of message to it. And then, nope. Nope. It's There's no message about human behavior. The message is, hey, when shit fucks up, it's because a fucking animal it's is tearing it up. It's basically a ghost story. I guess. <laughs> it sucks. It's, yeah. So Boo. Three. Three. Three, three blended up gremlins for me as well. And it, it goes in. Oh, it goes in the fucking pit. <laughs> It goes in the pit. Welcome. Um, so I guess so, now it's time to pick the next movie. Yeah, let's do the coin or flip. at least coin flip. Yes, that's right. And I thought right. I had. And I okay, had a coin. sweet. All right, so I'll call it. You're gonna call it. Here we go. Heads. Tails, oh, baby! Nice. Ryan, so that means it's your turn next time. Yes. Okay, cool. And I haven't decided what we're going to do yet. I maybe think... something not by Steven Spielberg and Chris Columbus. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe I, we'll branch I, out a little bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I, I actually thought about just forcing you to do all Arnold Schwarzenegger oh. movies. Oh, no! With every single one of my picks. No, you have to bring it after your kindergarten cop flop. There's some good Arnold. I need to get you some good Arnold. Okay, or we can do a I different time period. <laughs> okay, like I don't not know the, what clue not you're the dropping. the 80s. Oh, yeah. 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 Either way. I thank, feel you. Thank you for listening. Yes. Thank um, you, I, listener. God, I had like a little catchphrase I was going to say, but I forgot it already. It's a... Uh, we at Say Hello. Yeah. Are we ready to just say goodbye and be done? I'm good. Listen, you just catch, final us, words? catch us on our socials. You yep. know what they are. Except for Facebook. Oh, I did delete that. You deleted that. Okay. It's yeah, too, I don't understand like, it anymore. Also, they were like charging us every once in a while. We didn't understand. Yeah. I don't, so, yeah. <laughs> goodbye. But we still have Instagram and our email and shit and Twitter. So, okay. All right. We at Say Hello <laughs> would like to just say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Weird ending. <laughs>